Hi there, Dave here, how are you? Today I'm going to use a bit of this on a bit of this and use this and this and this to finish it off. It sounds like fun. it is Let's important it. to remember that this iron-on tape is around about a millimetre thick. So you have to allow for that when you're making things. Like if I'm making doors, I'll take about two millimetres off the size that I want. Say if I want a door that's 400 millimetres wide, I'll make it 398 millimetres wide to allow for the tape to be ironed on. You might find that with your saw, unless you've got a scribing panel saw, that you get a little bit of breakout on the bottom of the board as you're cutting it ready. Don't worry, don't be too concerned about that. You can always face that face or that edge back into the cupboard if you're going to be making doors. The outside is the one that's important. You see here I've put a face mark. That's the one I'm going to stick to all the way through this little project that I'm making. So here we go. I'm using the Triton Super Jaws to hold the board for me with its extension arms. What I'm going to do is I'll come around that side. First thing I do is I measure out just by pulling the piece of tape out to the length that I want, I tear it. I'm not overly concerned about cutting it, that's all going to be trimmed off. So I just tear it. It's a daggy end, you can see that. Daggy end there and there. So I put it on top of the board. The iron has been set to wool. That's the temperature that they recommend. Now what I do, I put the edge strip on and I go across it slowly making sure that the iron is dead flat. Once I've done that, I then get a block of wood. And I go again. This time, I follow along behind with the block of wood, pushing down hard. Beautiful. Now that's pretty cool. Now, that's going to be warm to touch, obviously. I'm going to have a quick look under there. Seems to be a good join. Make sure you've got the same amount of tape hanging out either side of the board. The reason I do it like this is that I don't want to have the tape wander off. I like to get the tape glued on in one run and then I come back over it with the heat again to reactivate the glue and push that block down hard as I'm following along behind it. The tape is held in position because I've already previously glued it. Uh, for a really long run, that can be a little bit problematic because you might find as you're pushing it along, you start to get a little bit of a hump in the tape. But I find for short lengths like this, this is best. First of all, we clean the ends off. Now this thing's called an end trimmer. And these are lovely. Now be careful, that down there is a guillotine. It's an extremely sharp pair of scissors. And it's got a little rebate down here for the tape to slide in. Now this is how it works. I put it on top, hold it back here, fingers clear, and trim. And look at that. Look what just came off. That is magic. And that is absolutely beautiful. And looking at this end, you switch it around to the other side, of course. And as I cut, gone. That's all done. Now I'm going to clean the rest off with a chisel. Now, you must make sure you've got a nice sharp chisel, and mine is razor sharp. Roll the chisel so it's going to get in position. And then I tip it down a little and slide the chisel along. Beautiful. That is so, so nice. Now if you find that you've got a spot that hasn't glued down properly, you can come back with the iron and just sit the iron on it, hold it down until it's been activated, put your block on, down perfect, look at that. I'm going to turn the board around and show you how it works on the other side, I love this super jaws, unlock, and there it goes. Flip her around, drop her in, lock it, gotcha. All right, I'm gonna use this little edge trimmer. It does both sides in one go, it's nice and quick. It's a little easier 
than the um, than the chisel. But you watch this tear off. How quick was that? Look at that. All from this little guy. These are great. Now you're going to end up with just the tiniest little edge there. So I get about 320 grit paper and a block of wood. And I give it a rub. I'll do the other side. Put my back to you for a minute. You know what? That is pretty damn fine. Now also what I do is I just, I have a small fine file and I give it just the slightest touch there. Not a lot. Just in case that guillotine hasn't grabbed it. Beautiful. Now the reason I do that is because if I'm going to flip her around and go again with some more tape there, so it's going to do some more tape along that side, I want it to be dead flat. So when I put the next lot of tape on, it's going to be perfect. So there you go. There's one way of putting the tape on, the edge tape and using the iron just from home. Actually, this one's my iron. My other iron is in the house and I'm not allowed to use that one. I've shown you two different ways of trimming the tape off and then getting a beautiful finish on it. Let's have a look up nice and close. Click that. There we go. That is not a bad result at all. You'd swear that that's a factory edge. There, there are different types of machines for putting this iron on on and they use heat guns and all that kind of stuff and I'm curious to give one a shot because it's got a roller that follows along so you just push the board along the side of it. Thanks for watching, see you later.